Hi, uh, this video is about LabVIEW debugging. So when you work with your LabVIEW program or VI, uh, you have to debug your code. Uh, this video will show how to debug your program. Uh, there are a few things that you can do uh, to debug your program. The first one you can do is uh, look for the broken VI and error list. Second one is a warning. Uh, third one is a highlight execution. Fourth one is a single stepping uh, probes and breakpoints. I will show demo of all six of them. So let's start with the first one. So what I have is the I have blank VI here and this is the block diagram here. Okay, so first thing let's say I want to create some for loop here. So I will uh, go here window and uh, show block diagram here. And here let's say I create um, one for loop here. So I will go structure and I select the for loop and I put it here. As soon as I put the for loop structure here, I will see here that uh, there is a uh, broken VI here. So you can see what is the error uh, by two way. It first one you can double click on this one. It will show you this one and say okay for loop n is not wired. So they are referring to this n loop count that is not wired. Okay. Uh, another way you can do is go in the view and here you can see error list. Okay, so that's the other way. So to fix this one, you can say, okay, I want to create control, and that will take care of that um, broken VI. So whenever you work with the program, uh, you have to find out what are the error messages, and then you have to fix. If it's more than one, you have to do one by one by one. Okay, so that's the uh, regarding the error message. Now, uh, when you look at the uh, view here, and error list, uh, there is a uh, show warning that's the second one that you can do uh, leave this on so it will show you what uh, what are the warning message so warning messages are like um, they don't break your vi but it will tell you that okay this is something is not correct here in the lab view okay so you so check mark this one and it will show the warning messages so one of the example I can uh, show here is that um, let's say here and I put one of the numeric control here. So let's say uh, I go here and uh, modern numeric and I say okay there is a numeric control here. Can I put one numeric indicator? Okay. Now if I back uh, go back to my uh, show block diagram here, I can. See here, I can put both down and I can say okay, view error list, and it will tell me that okay, uh, uh, unwired front panel terminal and another unwired front panel terminal. Okay, so those it is telling me the uh, warning messages here. Uh, since VI is not broken, I can run it, but um, since these two numeric uh, control and indicator are hanging without connecting anything, it is telling me that okay, that doesn't make sense. Okay, and this is another way you can find out list warning as well here. Okay, so those are the two uh, broken, I mean, uh, error list and the warning messages. Okay, uh, now let me uh, show you the. I don't need this one, so I'm going to close it. Okay, uh, don't save. Okay, the this one I have already uh, program here, so it is a very simple program. Uh, what is doing is that um, it is taking two input, it is taking addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and it is telling me the result here. So x plus y x, and then once that one is completed, I am going further with the compound arithmetic. I am adding the summation of all those four result here. So plus negative multiplication division, I am taking them and I am adding them and sh showing as a result. Okay, so that's the program and that's this program I am going to show to demo this highlight execution, single stepping probes and breakpoints. Okay, that's the that's why I have uh, wrote that uh, little program here. So now the first one is that um, uh, we go over the highlight execution. So you can see the how your uh, uh, program is working uh, by okay. Let me go back to my block diagram here. So this is the uh, uh, when this bulb 
icon that is the highlight execution so when I select this one and when I run it you can see actual data flows here okay so let me uh, go back to my block diagram real quick so I, hi I selected this highlight execution and now I am going back to my diagram here okay uh, this front panel let's say I want I'm giving this 12 as a numeric one input and 4 as another numeric input okay so now if I go back to my um, block diagram highlight execution is on and then I select run and then you can see okay 12 is coming out it calculated 3 48 8 and 16 now they all went to 75 and th it gave me the result okay uh, I can run the uh, run the execution in continuous mode as well so let's say uh, 12 4 3 48 8 and 16 they went all over here and 75 is the result and it keep doing so this way you can see uh, what is your calculation and then you can find out if you see any error message or result is as not for your expectation okay so that's the third one let me stop this one now okay so the the fourth one is a single stepping here so for the single stepping uh, what I'm going to do next is the let's say I don't want to see highlight execution uh, or you can leave it on but this is the step that it will take uh, in a step okay so let's say I want to run first single step so now as you can see here it is just performing the division then I say okay uh, step over divide so you click no next uh, then now is multiplication is happening uh, let me turn on the execution here so you can see the value as well now it finished that calculation now is in the subtraction next step is that is going to do the addition once that one is completed now it is at the compound arithmetic and now it is telling me uh, 75 is the result and the last step is the finish the lab view or uh, debugging okay so and that whole program whole one run cycle is completed so you can do step by step uh, debugging and see that uh, where is the problem okay so that's the uh, fourth method you can use the probes okay so if I go back here and uh, let's say I'm running this program in a continuous mode if you uh, okay let me stop okay um, in the let's say I'm running in the continuous mode and then as soon as I bring this one next to this wire you see this uh, little P uh, with the circle that's the probe okay so I can uh, right click on it and then I say okay probe so now it added that probe here is like scope probe oscilloscope probe is kind of similar uh, that you can uh, see the value here so now the probe is there and I can see its value is 16 okay another probe less I want to add here at the 75 so now it added the second probe here and you you put probe wherever uh, you think it is necessary to debug your program and then uh, see that r result is correct or not okay so that's the you can put the probes at the different places so that's the probing and the let me stop the program now and then you can uh, just delete this probe if you don't need it highlight it and uh, delete it okay and the last one is the breakpoint okay so when you uh, select any wire right click on it and here breakpoint and you say okay set breakpoint okay what it does is it don't break the program but it just stop here whenever your execution comes here it stop at that particular location okay so let's say I want to set probe here on the uh, breakpoint here set breakpoint okay uh, right click breakpoint set breakpoint again here same thing okay so I have placed the breakpoint at the four places now I run the program nice is saying that okay now we stop here then you press this button and then you say okay continue now you have break again here again continue 
then one more continue here and then once I continue here it finish the program okay and give me the result so those are the few debugging techniques uh, in the lab view you can use uh, to debug your program okay um, hopefully you like this video if you like it subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching okay bye